China just unleashed not one, but two trillion parameter AI models in the same week. Alibaba's Quen team dropped a preview so powerful it's beating Claude, DeepSeek, and even Gemini in benchmarks while running faster than ChatGPT. And right behind them, Moonshot AI, a $3.3 billion startup, is rolling out a new Kimi model with a massive context window and upgraded coding skills. The global AI race just got a lot more intense, so let's talk about it. Let's start with the big one, because it's not every day that a trillion parameter model lands in the wild. Anibaba's Quen team, which has already been on a roll all summer with a bunch of open source models, just unveiled Quen 3 Max Preview. And this thing is absolutely huge. We're talking over one trillion parameters. To put that into context, a lot of people have been speculating that OpenAI's GPT-4.0 and later models sit around that size, but lately, most labs have been moving in the opposite direction, towards smaller, more efficient models. So the fact that Quen has gone all in on scaling up again is pretty striking. The benchmarks they dropped make it clear that this isn't just about raw size. On tests like Super GPQA, AIME 25, Live Code Bench V6, Arena Hard V2, and Live Bench 2024 11 25, the preview model consistently came out ahead of Claude Opus 4, Kimi K2, and even DeepSeek V3.1 in certain areas. That's a big statement because those are some of the toughest models to beat right now. Now, what does this mean in practice? Well, the model is already live through Quen Chat, which is Alibaba's answer to ChatGPT. It's also available via Alibaba Cloud's API through Open Router and even baked directly into any coder. That's Hugging Face's open source coding tool run by Asen Kalik. In fact, any coder has made Quen3 Max the default option, so developers are going to be bumping into it right away whether they were expecting it or not. But here's the catch. Unlike some of Quen's earlier releases, this one isn't open source, at least not yet. So if you want access, you're gonna be paying through Alibaba Cloud or one of their partners. And the pricing is actually pretty interesting. It's tiered based on how many tokens you're throwing at it. For shorter prompts up to 32,000 tokens, it's 86 cents per million input tokens and $3.44 per million output tokens. Once you move into the 32 to 128,000 range, it jumps to $1.43 per million input and $5.73 per million output. And if you're pushing it all the way to the max, up to around 252,000 tokens, you're looking at $2.15 per million input and $8.60 per million output. So yeah, shorter prompts are way more affordable, but if you're running heavy, high context workloads, you're going to feel it in your budget. Now, let's get into the technical side. The context window tops out at 262,144 tokens in total. On the input side, you can go as high as 258,048 tokens, while the output can go up to 32,768, but not both at the same time. Basically, whatever you use for input eats into the space for output. So if you max out the input, you're left with only about 4,000 tokens for the response. It also supports context caching, which means if you're running extended sessions or multi-turn workflows, you don't have to keep paying or waiting for the model to reload all the old data. It just remembers. And in terms of what it's actually designed to do, the Quen team says it's built for complex reasoning, heavy coding tasks, handling structured data like JSON, and even creative projects. Basically, it's not locked to one use case, it's meant to be flexible. Whether you're building an agent, doing research, or just running general conversation. Now, the early hands-on impressions are fascinating. VentureBeats' Carl Franzen said that in his testing, Q1 3 Max Preview was blazing fast, like faster than ChatGPT in his side-by-side -side trials. And it avoided some of those weird pitfalls that big models sometimes still trip over like messing up the count of R's in the word strawberry, or incorrectly saying which number is bigger when they're the same. On social media, the Quen team framed it as their biggest yet and hinted that scaling really does work, teasing that the official release will be even more surprising. Bin Yuan Hui, one of their staff research scientists, has been very active online, confirming that the model successfully scaled to a trillion parameters and that they're already working on more. He even said another release could drop as soon as next week. One point, when asked about the crazy pace of updates, 
He literally called himself a crazy man. Hui also cleared up some confusion around the context length. People thought it was capped because of what they saw in the chat interface, but he said, that's just a limitation of the front end, not the model itself. Community feedback so far has been pretty positive. Hugging Face's Ace and Kylik showed how it could generate an entire voxel pixel garden in a single prompt on any coder, which is not the kind of thing you can pull off with a weaker model. Another tester on X, going by Swally6 69635, said that even though Quen3 Max isn't marketed as a reasoning model, it actually solved tasks that models like GPT-5 Thinking and Gemini 2.5 Pro struggled with unless they had tool support. Things like arithmetic, 24 game puzzles, and some custom problems, they noticed that when the model hit harder problems, it shifted into this structured step-by-step -step reasoning style, almost like it was built for it, even if the official line says otherwise. For enterprises, the trillion parameters and extended context mean bigger inputs, fewer fine tunes, and easier integration thanks to open AI style APIs and context caching. But as a preview, it brings risks around stability and availability, and the tiered pricing can get expensive fast. So yeah, it's powerful, but enterprises will need to weigh the cost structure and operational risks before diving in head first. And remember, this is just the preview version. The final release is expected to be even stronger. Let me drop this in real quick. There are two kinds of people right now. The first group is using AI to create income streams that run on autopilot, and the second group is sitting on the sidelines watching it happen. I'm about to reveal something I call faceless empire a method that lets regular people generate three to $5,000 a month without showing their face on camera, without special skills, just by letting AI do the heavy lifting. And here's the catch. Only 200 spots are opening for early access and they'll disappear fast. This isn't about quitting your job or grinding 10 hours a day. If you've got a couple of hours a week, you can start building a side income that actually scales. Don't be the one who waits while others build their empire. The early adopter advantage won't be around for long. Hit the link below to join the list and be the first to see the full system when it drops. Now, while Quinn was stealing the spotlight with their trillion parameter monster, another Chinese player was making moves too, Moonshot AI. This is the Beijing startup that came onto the scene in March, 2023, and has already hit a valuation of $3.3 billion after their latest funding round. They've got backing from Alibaba, Tencent, and some other big investors. Their flagship is the Kimi series, and back in July, they released Kimi K2, which also hit the trillion parameter mark and made waves for its creative writing and coding skills. That model was open source and it shot up the developer leaderboard Elamrena, tying for eighth overall and fourth for coding specifically. Now they're updating it. The new version is called Kimi K20905. At least that was the name that leaked on their Discord before they edited the post and removed details. It was supposed to roll out to a group of 20 beta testers, but the launch got delayed because of API tech issues. So the status right now is a little murky. What we do know from the original post by Aspen Chung, one of Moonshot's growth team members, is that the update comes with a much larger context window, doubling from 128,000 to 256,000 tokens. That's right in the same ballpark as QN3 Max. The update also focuses heavily on improved coding while still keeping the creative writing strengths that people loved from the first release. And they're claiming slightly less hallucination, which is always a good sign. But there are limits here. The model doesn't include reasoning or vision features, even though Moonshot has said in the past that they plan to add those. And unlike Quen, Moonshot has stayed pretty firm about open sourcing their models long term. Yang Julin, their founder, has been public about that commitment, saying they want to share technical know-how with the wider community to speed up progress. He has admitted that not everything will be open, especially if they're working with partners, but the overall mission is to stay as open as possible. Yang also made some interesting comments in a recent podcast. He said that context windows of 128 or even 256,000 tokens aren't enough. He thinks you need millions of tokens for AI to really solve many of the harder problems out there. And he pointed out that leading models like Gemini 2.5 Pro from Google DeepMind 
already pushed toward a million token windows. So in his view, scaling up the context is absolutely necessary. He also talked about scaling laws. A lot of people have wondered if the era of just adding more data and compute to get better results is slowing down, mostly because of the lack of high quality training data. Yang said that's definitely a challenge, but he argued the speed of improvement hasn't slowed at all. If anything, it's accelerating thanks to efficiency gains. And he mentioned that his team is already using K2 to help build their next major base model, which they're calling K3. All right, here's your moment of truth. You can wait for the perfect time or you can act now. Faceless Empire is the system behind my $500,000 AI business running on autopilot. Only 200 founding spots are opening, and once they're gone, they're gone. Don't get left behind. Click the link below and lock in your place before it disappears. So what do you think? Is China's trillion parameter push the start of them overtaking the US in AI? Drop your thoughts in the comments. I'd love to hear your take. Don't forget to hit subscribe and leave a like if you enjoyed this breakdown. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.